Hey there, this is James Darknell from The Foundry. In this series of videos, I'll be covering all of the basics of using the new Mesh Fusion workflow introduced in Moto 10.2. If you haven't yet watched the Getting Started video, I highly recommend you do that for a solid overview of the Mesh Fusion changes. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Deferred Update option. It is a way of speeding up your Mesh Fusion workflow. So if you've ever had any dense mesh fusion meshes or you've had scenes with a lot of mesh fusion objects in there I'm sure you've quickly noticed how quickly mesh fusion got bogged down for instance if I were to take this object and I wanted to move him around you see I I move him and he just kinda chugs along there and it can kinda mess up with your flow when you're working on an object or something like that Let me undo this guy so what we've added in is this deferred update option and you're gonna wanna update this for all of your mesh fusion objects when you're using this. So I'm going to select all of my mesh fusion objects here. And the option is right here within your mesh fusion properties and it's called deferred update. And what that's going to do now is if I select that object and I move that, you're going to see it's going to let me move it right away, but you're not going to see a live update of the mesh fusion object. Now when I release that, then it's going to calculate those changes and adjust them. Likewise on any object now that I edit, you can see those mesh fusion changes will update once I release the mouse button. So that is the deferred update option added in Moto 10.2. Thanks for watching.